Happy Monday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, Monday, May 20th. You pick a card, it's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. And if you are born today, May 20th, I will do a reading for you next. All right, we did pick number one here. We have the King of Cups can be dealing with a male um, water sign. That could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces is coming into play for some. It's definitely is in focus. Um, what I also feel today, too, is for some of you, maybe um, this is therapy advice or visiting, um, I don't know, maybe have a doctor's appointment or some kind of a medical condition or something that maybe you want to um, take care of and you may be waiting or procrastinating. It's better to go. You'll be more relieved is what I feel. For others of you, this is uh, to all talk and counsel. Definitely here, someone who can be very caring and supporting as well. So today there is a focus on the emotions advice, um, counseling. I do feel that kind of energy as well. And this is, again, um, it's like tying up some loose ends and moving forward. So I do feel that energy too. You may have some great advice because through lessons that you've learned that you could inadvertently help others as well. So I do pick up that energy. If you pick card number two, you have the two of swords. Okay, so I do feel there's some indecisions here or kind of like you're at a deadlock. It's like, okay, should I do this now or should I do not? Indecision is what I'm picking up and you're feeling kind of stuck. You may be burdened with some extra responsibilities today. So I do feel that kind of energy, but it's simplifying things. You'll get things done and you're clearing the way. All right, so I do feel that energy. So it's just making that choice, I guess, or decision, and um, um, the worst is over, meaning, um, you know, it's like you'll get through the day, so to speak, all right? If you pick cards number three, you have the eight of, you have the eight of wands. All right, so I do feel there could be, well, this is important with messages, um, maybe some news may be coming through. But I do feel like it's you're over and done with something. You may change your mind about something too. So I wouldn't make quick decisions. Like just say, someone says, yeah, let's go here or let's travel. And you'll be like, okay. And then later you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. So don't, I wouldn't make any quick decisions. But this is usually really good high energy. You could manifest a lot too, but you have to bury the past or um, let go of something emotionally is what I'm picking up here as well. Okay. All right, when we're looking at this, I do feel today that um, we have some new beginnings. There's high creativity. We are looking at our peace, joy, abundance, um, home, and our health is in focus. Um, I do feel that not everything is as it seems to, so it's best to research, get advice, look things up, and follow our intuition, study, analyze things too. Um, we could be surrounded by a lot of people that we're not usually around. Um, there is a victory and success no matter what today. So I do feel that energy as well. Um, support, partnerships, love is showing up too and making some kind of um, soulmate connection. So I do feel that energy as well. All right. That is the reading for today. Have a wonderful Monday. Happy birthday if you are born today, May 20th. This is your soul or your theme. That's your wish card. Your soul or your theme is the three of wands. For some of you, will be relocating or traveling for work. Maybe your company, for example, may transfer to another location. So I do see that for some there, okay? For others of you, you may be um, uh, moving in with someone because you could be like going into a relationship or... Um, leveling up in a relationship, uh, getting engaged this year. There's going to be some kind of a celebration, maybe a homecoming. So I do feel that energy as well. Maybe a new residence. You may be moving. You may be purchasing a new home, uh, signing a new lease. For some of you, we'll be going through court or dealing with um, legal matters. I do feel that energy. A major decision you make is going to be life-altering or you can't go back on. Uh, expect sudden changes. They could be ups and downs with weather. I don't know why, but I see these are external forces coming at you at times too. Uh, getting used to a new normal, all right? You may enter some kind of a competition, but you'll be dealing with rivalry. I do feel that. There could be some conflicts this year too with others, disagreements, um, and some t uh, tense situations. So I do feel that energy too. You can be dealing with an Aries and a Leo is what I'm picking up here too. 
There is something that you need to break and set yourself free from these emotional attachments too. You're tying up loose ends and you're moving forward as well. Okay. Your wish for your solar year is the full card. This is a major arcana, very important one. Um, I want to say that for some of you, this wish is faded. So um, it's a maybe, but some it's a no for now. Okay. Um, so I'm feeling that kind of energy. All right. Important numbers for your solar year is 4, 11, 14, 13, 8, and 5. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond. And bye-bye for now.